I wanted to make a video of my new Troy built. It's a TB130 XP. And this is Troy built's top of the line push mower. Um, it obviously comes with the Honda engine. And the engine is a GCV160. And this mower is only $60 more than the uh, lowest grade push mower that they make and you get a couple more features with it. Obviously the best being that it comes with the Honda engine instead of the Briggs and Stratton engine. And this one also has uh, uses what Troy Bill calls a tri-cut cutting system which is supposed to um, you know cut your grass a little better make it look a little nicer which it does cut very well so I don't know how much it differs from you know the base model that they make but one of the features that you get on this one also is you get the deck washout port so you can attach this to your garden hose and then this is just a quick connect fitting and you pop it on there and you will turn the water on and you'll start the engine up and let the blade obviously will spin and it'll fling water everywhere and kind of just help to loosen a lot of the glass grass clippings and debris underneath the deck and clean it out so that way you don't have to shut off the engine and get under there and clean it out with your hands. So it is a nice feature. I doubt I'll really use it tons, but maybe every couple times I use it to mow I'll take and just clean it out quick. Uh, one of the reasons why I went with this one was because of the Honda engine. Um, I do some small engine repair and I have worked on a couple of the, uh, like the, I think they're 550EX series Briggs engines that they use on a lot of like the lower end push mowers and the carburetors kind of have some issues sometimes and I'm not real keen on that air filter setup on them. And also, the heat shield that they use on the muffler on the Briggs & Stratton is kind of just a really thin piece of wire. And a lot of times you see them bent up and broke because people run into them with things. This one is a nice solid piece of tin. It's not going anywhere. Uh, and I also think these Hondas have a very easy... Uh, dipstick to check the engine oil and it also makes a nice wide mouth opening to fill it with oil so servicing is a lot easier with these engines and instead of just being an overhead valve engine like the Briggs and Stratton this is actually an overhead cam engine it's much more efficient way better design and also this model uh, well, this engine compared to the base model engine is, I think, roughly 20-some more cc more, so this is a bigger uh, engine on it, and it also has a higher fuel capacity. The low-end engine has a 0.8 quart fuel capacity, and this has just over one full quart fuel capacity. And also, you get a nice fuel shutoff valve. Not really a necessity, but for people that might want to use the, or put this in long-term storage, you can shut the valve off, run the engine, drain the carburetor, and not gum up your carburetor like so many people seem to do. And you have a nice wide mouth, you know, kind of opening to fill it up with gas, and it's nice because there's you know a screen on the side here to help with splashing and to help kind of filter the fuel a little better and just like the Briggs and Stratton it does have a tether on it to keep the cap from going anywhere and people losing it which they do um, this model features higher wheels to help it maneuver over rougher terrain which my yard is not flat and perfect I go on the inside and out of this whole fence around all the outbuildings. So there is a lot of trimming. There's a bank out front that runs the whole way along the proper or the whole front of the property. And then I continue and go around all this fencing here, all these outbuildings under that bush. 
So there's plenty to do, plenty of hand mowing to do around here. And this bag, or this mower, just like all the uh, lower models in this, they all pretty much bag, mulch, and side discharge, no matter, you know, depends on what all you want to do with it. I just put this chute on before I started, although I just mulch with mine because it's easy. You don't have to worry about clippings go getting thrown anywhere that they're not supposed to be. And with it being in the open here and very windy, that it blows it all over the damn place and it's annoying so I just mulch. So this mulching cover here is spring loaded so all you do is just pop the chute underneath on top of those metal tabs there on either side of the hinge and the spring tension of this cover holds the side discharge chute in place. Pretty standard I think it's pretty much the same thing that you get on the lower end model or models. They do have several other models on Troy Belt's website uh, for just push mowers. And I did check and look this up. This bag does say Troy Belt XP because it is an XP. It's their top of the line series. Uh, but this is the same bushel capacity as the, um, as the base model would have. So all you do with this, clip up the bottom, pop it down in place, and then this, again, spring tension helps hold the bag down in place. I'm not going to do that one-handed because it would just be a disaster to watch. But there's the bag. It has the nice, like, plastic so uh, solid bottom in it. And I like these newer bag systems. Pretty much all mowers use it. They have a handle on the top. And then you just kind of lift it straight up out and then it's easy to pour out it's you don't they're a lot better than older mowers by far with bagging it's so much simpler uh, another thing these have instead of having to adjust each wheel individually this has a dual lever system where this lever will control both the front wheels and then this lever controls both the rear wheels, so you only have two levers to deal with instead of four. So that's a big plus yet again. Uh, this mower was very simple to put together. Um, I should have did an unboxing video, but I didn't. Uh, when you get out of the box, you have to loosen up and take this uh, bolt out on each side. And then you actually pull the handle up like eight inches because it would be down in this notch. So you sl just slide it up out, put these back in, and then you put your uh, bolts and wing nuts back in for wherever position you would like the handle to be. And I have mine at a fairly low height because I think it gives you a little more leverage than it being really tall. It's easier to push up a steeper incline that way, so that's why I just have mine down fairly low. And I think pretty much all the Troy belts have this rake system on that helps straighten the grass out and, you know, pull it up because uh, when you run over grass with a mower, the blade has the bends on the back, which are air lifts, which help pull the grass straight up so that way it cuts it nice and evenly. And then this helps as well. It kind of, it's called a rake. It just helps loosen the grass up and you know lets the mower be able to pick the grass blades straight up and cut them nicely so that's it I mean this mower has started first pull every time even out of the box putting gas and oil in at first pull uh, both this engine and the Briggs and Stratton have the auto choke system now which uses like a by piece of like a bimetal thermal heat contraption that normally is attached to the muffler so that when the muffler warms up it shuts the choke off so that you know if you start the engine up and it's hot it has the choke off already but if the muffler's cold that means the engine's cold it'll put the choke on and as the engine warms up it slowly pulls the choke back off and it's a very nice system I've I think most manufacturers have pretty much uh, 
you know, perfected that system by now. Uh, you don't really seem to have trouble with them. I think some of the earlier ones, you, you know, were kind of a little more finicky, but I mean, they're pretty much down to a science by now. And it's, they did that because it's, you have no priming, no choking, no throttle levers to move. I mean, basically they just idiot proofed it to the extreme, which is nice. I mean, you just pull down your handle, give it one pull, you're off and running. I mean, it, a moron can operate it. Um, I hope you liked the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let them down below and I'll make sure to try and answer them for you.